Welcome to Micro's POS training. This series of videos is a front of the house training module and this first one is going to be a general introduction to uh, terms and that kind of thing regarding the POS. Uh, during this series of videos we're going to be training front of the house members, um, bartenders, servers, as well as managers in how to do anything and everything in order to get through a successful night. For instance, entering orders, splitting checks, processing payments, closing out those checks, uh, special orders, uh, transferring checks, and a number of other things. The system that we're going to be using for the training videos will not look will probably not look very much like the one that you'll be using, but this is okay, and the reason is because most of the key parts of the system work in a similar way if not identical. Each installation is different depending on the needs of the restaurant. But we're going to go over mostly general terms and general practices so it should apply to your system as well. First let's talk about you. And what I mean by this is you have an identity within the system. Uh, similar to a driver's license, your micros card or if you're using a four-digit code, identifies you to the restaurant and its managers. It identifies you to the uh, back of the house as well as the bar so they know where drinks are going and who ordered them and that kind of thing. Uh, because of this, you are responsible for menu items that are rung in under your number or identity. So it's very important to keep this number or this card on you at all times. Let's talk about what the POS system is there to do. The goal of using the POS system is to communicate with the kitchen and the bar. The better we communicate, the more efficient our service is, and efficiency equals more money for you at the end of the night. Okay, so our goal for communicating with the bar or the kitchen is no audibles. So no calling over the line during service in the kitchen, no calling over the bar to the bartender uh, whenever it can be avoided. We want to get everything on that check that prints out uh, for the bartender or for the kitchen so those drinks are ready for us when we arrive in either the kitchen or the bar. This helps the kitchen and the bar staff and makes them like you a whole lot more. So how do we accomplish this? In the next couple of videos, we're going to go through how the system communicates, but we'll start by saying that when you're logged into the system or entering an order, if the computer has a question, it will ask it uh, to you in a little yellow box, which is in either the upper right or upper left corner of the screen. We'll show this to you in the next video. Okay, uh, as you'll see in the following videos, the process follows a pretty simple step-by-step -step method for order entry. So for instance, if you were ordering a hamburger, uh, the, th the system might uh, ask you for a temperature and then ask you if you want lettuce or tomato or maybe cheese on that. And maybe I would then ask you if you wanted french fries. For... So now that we've got this out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with our next video.